Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today we're going to be talking about the Ryzen 3000 series. Now, I've been following this quite closely. Uh, there's been a lot of leaks coming out, a lot of rumors, and personally me, I'm pretty excited to see what AMD announces, and these leaks are definitely very promising, and everyone's really excited for them. Now, I want to make today's video because I am starting to notice a few red flags and some details that I feel should definitely be considered. Um, and I mean, obviously, it would be nice if AMD could definitely produce this stuff, um, but I have a, some, a hunch that we may get something, but I don't think it's going to be to the same level as everyone is hyped and excited for. So, let's start off with a few things. First off, number one, AMD's price per core, or the cost of each core on the processor, um, is a certain level. And it's about, it's a pretty good level, we'll just say, it's, it's, it's just a level. And then what is, I guess, being talked about, what is rumored, is that the Zen 2 architecture, the Ryzen 3000 series, is going to cut that price in half. Now, if you look at AMD's margins, and I believe there's a website that did a great article on this, so I de definitely recommend you do that, watch or read that. Um, but basically, AMD just doesn't have the profit margins, especially when you're talking about a new manufacturing node, um, that it's really, it's really difficult for them to invest all that money and then come out with something that's extremely good. Uh, and beats Intel out of the water. Like, yes, I wish that would be possible, but financially, AMD just doesn't have the margins to do that. So, the question to ask is, these processors, everyone is hyped up about them. Now, there's two ways that I have a feeling that it could be uh, done, um, but I have a feeling that something is off with these rumors. Either, number one, we're not getting this, the amount of cores, uh, that are promised. Number two, we're not getting the clock speeds that are promised, or three, a ladder of the combination of those, or four, um, they raise the price significantly. Now, while Intel has an eight core, 16 thread processor that they're currently, you know, touting as 600 or $500, I haven't followed that too closely, I apologize, um, but they're doing that. And right now, you can get a Ryzen 2700X for the same amount of cores, same amount of threads, for about half the price. So what I have a strong gut feeling is that we may not see the same number of cores, but in this Ryzen 3000 series, we may see a substantial clock speed increase to combat Intel, and then the next generation, we may see a core increase. Now, that's not to say a couple other details that go against this. For example, Lisa Su, CEO of AMD, um, actually stated that AMD has always had a core count advantage over competitors and they plan to continue that. Now obviously that would infer that this next generation would have more cores and I don't doubt that. I just don't doubt we're going to get to the same level as some of these leaks are suggesting or for perhaps it will just be a little bit more expensive than leaked. Now please don't get me wrong, I really would like to see all the rumors come true. They're absolutely amazing and they look super good. Um, and honestly, I like to buy tech. I'm on the board that would probably upgrade. So I'm not, you know, trashing this. I just want to kind of point this stuff out because a lot of people are getting their hopes up. And I mean, it's a good thing to wait for. Like, don't get me wrong. Waiting for this, if this actually turns out to be true, will be a substantial good investment. Um, you'll have something that will last with PCIe 4.0. There's a lot of things that are good things about this processor. Um, from what it's being dubbed as. Now, not to say that something might be a little bit off um, financially. I think they have to raise the price, things like that. Um, but feasibly, it's not possible for a company um, for what some of the things that it's... Some of the th rumors are just kind of borderline impossible. So while I do think that we may see a core count, I don't think it's going to be substantial. Um, but then again, I would like to be wrong. Um, I would like to be 100% wrong, and we see AMD put even more competition on the table. Not to say I hate Intel or have problems with Intel. I just love to see innovation. And when we see innovation, we see innovation from both sides. And that basically means better processors for everyone. Um, but for me, I seriously have a concern that some of these rumors, and I feel bad for AMD if this turns out to be, these rumors are fake, that they have been getting people hyped up and then these processors come out and it turns out like another um, Vega 
and everyone's really disappointed and everyone's really upset over the stuff that really wasn't in AMD's control. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you're interested, check out the channel for other cool tech-related news, reviews, builds, etc. And uh, subscribe if you're interested. If not, have a wonderful day. And uh, thank you again for watching. Goodbye.